All right, friends, today we're going to read the Hippognotamus. That's a silly name, isn't it? This story is written by Tony and Jan Payne, and the pictures are by Guy Parker Reese. Portly was a very strong hippo. He didn't ask to be a hippopotamus. He was just born that way. And he wasn't sure he wanted to be a hippo forever. Hippos stood up to their eyes in water all day, and they ate boring old grass all day. What sort of a life was that? One day, Portly said to his mom and dad, I've been a hippo for long enough, and now I want to do something else. Impossible, said his dad, shaking his head. You're a hippopotamus, and that's the way it is, said his mom. But Portly was a very stubborn hippo. We'll see about that, he said, and he stomped off. It's time for me to be something more interesting and to eat stuff with some taste, he called back. Portly had not gotten far when he met a herd of animals. More hippos, he thought. But as he got closer, he saw that they had big spikes where their noses should be. You could do a lot of stuff with um, tossing around stuff with those spikes like that, he thought. Excuse me, Portly said politely to the nearest animal. What sort of creature are you? I am a rhinoceros, said the animal through a mouthful of twigs. Well, I am going to be a rhino thingy too, said Portly. But first, I need some spikes. Where did you get your spikes? The rhinoceros laughed. You could say I got my horns from my mother. Does she have any more? asked Portly. No, said the rhino. You have to grow your own. We'll see about that, said the little hippo. So Portly found two pieces of wood and he sharpened them until they were pointed. He tied them to his nose but then he couldn't see. He tied them to the sides of his head. He tied them on top of his head. He tied them under his chin. But no matter where he put them, they just didn't look right. He turned around to ask for some advice, but the rhinos were all gone. So Portly continued on his journey with his horns sticking out just anywhere. Before long, Portly saw a strange animal hanging upside down from a tree. That looked like fun. Excuse me, he said. What sort of creature are you? I'm a bat, I think, said the animal. And you are? I'm a hipponocerous, said Portly. So what do bats do? The bat took ages to answer. Eat stuff, hang out. It's not easy being a bat, he added. We'll see about that, said Portly. I think he likes to say that. We'll see about that. He made some hooks out of bananas and tied them to his feet. Carefully, he climbed into the tree and then hung upside down. Now what? he asked. Now, said the bat, we wait. For what? Portly wanted to know. The bat thought hard. Wednesday, he said. So Portly settled down to wait for Wednesday. But after five minutes, the banana slipped and he fell out of the tree. 
that's when Portley decided that five minutes was just the right amount of time to be a bat. A little later, Portly found a water hole standing in it was an enormous animal. Excuse me, Portly said. What sort of creature are you? I am an elephant, said the animal. What may I ask are you? I'm a hippo bat and I'm going to be an elephant too, announced Portly. I want to spit water out of my nose. I want to smell something when I'm here and my nose is somewhere else. So I'll want one of those tube things and I want some big flappy ears. And the elephant had to smile. Wait a second, young hippo bat anoceros. You have to be born with those things. But Portly was determined. What do you think he said? We'll see about that. Portly made big ears from two leaves. Then he made a trunk out of a vine. But what could he do with it? He wanted to trumpet tunes and pluck leaves and spit with it. But he couldn't. His journey was slow because his horns fell over his eyes. His hooks caught in the bushes. He kept tripping over his trunk and his ears flapped all over the place. By now, Portly was getting a bit bored with all this excitement. He kept thinking about water for some reason. Why do you think he was thinking about water? Because he was a hippo, and that's what hippos like is water. But he still wanted to be something else. Portly had not gone far when he met some new animals. They started on the ground, like you and me, but they ended up way up in the trees. Excuse me, said Portly to a knobby knee. What sort of creature are you? A head appeared from the leaves. I'm a giraffe, it said. What do giraffes do? called the little hippo. Eat leaves, mostly, said the giraffe. Can a hippo elebatanoceros eat leaves? Portly inquired. I should think a hippo elebatanoceros could eat anything, replied the giraffe. Then I'll be a giraffe, said Portly. But it takes years to grow all the way up here, exclaimed the giraffe. What do you think Portly said? We'll see about that. So Portly made two tall stilts out of branches and strapped them to his legs. But it was hard being up so high. Easy. Oops. Uh-oh. Portly. Portly was now hot and hungry as a hippo can be. I know just what I need, he thought, and Portly started out on the long trail that led back to the water in the river. Portly's mom and dad were standing up to their eyes in water when they saw Portly, their son, coming. Excuse me, said Mom, knowing who it was but not wanting to let on. What sort of creature are you? I'm a hippodrella badanoceros, Portly said proudly. Well, are you hungry? asked his mother kindly. I'm afraid we only had boring old grass for supper. Do hippodrella badanoceroses eat boring old grass? As a matter of fact, said Portly, they like it more than anything. Then come and join us, said Dad. So the young 
hippopotamus removed stilts and slid into the river. The water felt wonderful and the boring old grass tasted better than ever. He did not even notice his ears floating away, his trunk sinking, and his hooks and horns falling off. Mom smiled at Portly. Our own little hippo doesn't want to be a hippo anymore, so there's plenty of room for you if you'd like to stay. Hmm, said Portly, looking at some nearby monkeys and wondering what it would be like to swing from a tree by his tail. What do you think he said? We'll see about that. The end.